Okay. Yeah. So, folks, here, I'm sorry. Please, please give me your names. Sunny and Charlotte. And this is Charlotte and Blair Stewart. Blair Stewart, and everybody knows Lee, right? <laughs> so, <coughs> let me go this way because I got things to turn back. <laughs> Well, thank you. Thank you for having us here tonight. As I mentioned, my name is Sunny, and this is my mom, Charlotte. Blair is the nephew, he's my cousin, so the nephew of mom. And his mom was in the same concentration camp as my mom. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. So to give a, give a little bit of background, mom was incarcerated by the Japanese during World War II in the South Pacific. So she was born on the island of Bali in what was then known as the Dutch East Indies, now known as Indonesia. So then we had World War II, right? And we had everything going on in the European th theater with the Holocaust, but then the Japanese were also taking over territory in the South Pacific. And so mom and um, her mother, so my grandma, was put into a concentration camp um, mom was only ages three to six, so very young, but very impressionable. And this was a camp that was so notorious for its um, atrocities towards their prisoners that it was nicknamed Hell. And so mom's um, story, and she's written her book, is called Meisha, which means little girl in Dutch, I Met God in Hell because that was the nickname of the camp, and that was her first exposure to God. So with mom's journey, she went from Indonesia, they were basically kicked out of Indonesia, the Dutch East Indies to Indonesia, to Holland, to America. And so mom wants to express her gratitude to the veterans because it was the US and allied troops that had liberated her from the camp and um, really gave her a new life here in the United States. And so her heart is to thank all the veterans for your sacrifice, for your family sacrifices, all that you have done for us. And what I like to say is it wasn't just a temporary, short-term sacrifice. It's generational because I wouldn't be here. Blair wouldn't be here. Our children wouldn't be here if it wasn't for your sacrifice. So we take it very seriously, what you did for us. And that's why mom's heart is that she thanks each of you, as many as she can. She wants to get out there and thank all of you veterans. So mom, do you want to say a little bit about how you started to write this poem? This poem, America's Gift, was birthed by 9-11. And actually, two attacks on America changed my life. The first one was Pearl Harbor, which brought the Americans not only in Europe, but also in the Pacific. And uh, my dad, who was a military or served in the military, was unbeknownst to his family, also recruited by the Americans in their intelligence. But the Japanese had also spies and knew about my dad, and then they picked him up put him in jail in Japan. And they went after his wife and family, and they caught my mom and the children, and we were put in a jail, in a concentration camp. So it was a double whammy for us. But thank God, in 1945, the Americans liberated us with a lot of other allied people. And this poem is my heartfelt thank you to each one of you.
America's gift. O oh, America, when I first came and saw your beauty entering the harbor in New York, shivers of excitement and anticipation went through me. Upon seeing a lady beckoning us, holding high her torch, the Statue of Liberty. Oh, a symbol so powerful, speaking of and representing the dreams, hopes, and longings of its huddled masses who came before me, now offering all that and more once again to those who enter. It is a cycle repeated over and over as they come from all parts of the world, crossing the borders by land, sea and air. The poor, the broken and the dreamers all coming, wanting to know the way to freedom. Oh, America, how can one not love you? For it's not so that it is because you loved first. Now we can start healing our broken spirit and mend our body so we can start dreaming, working, and learning, yearning to integrate ourselves to become one of mind, body and soul, a true American. Oh America, how I love you for opening wide your arms to a wretch like me for reaching out with your infinite love to rescue me, a stranger, a foreigner. Why? Oh, America, I thank you for sending the masses of sons and daughters to distant land and shores far away to fight and risk laying down your life so that I might taste your freedoms, enjoy your hospitality, sanctuary and refuge, and above all, to share in your wealth and worship your God. Oh, America, for that, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that with us. Thank you. Oh. My father was in World War II. Yeah. So. I still have survivor's guilt. Yeah. It's at a cost. Somebody has a question. Go ahead, Steve. My dad did. And he, not only for the Dutch, but he was unbeknownst recruited by the Americans. But he had to swear an oath that he could only tell his family or anyone else after 20 to 25 years after the war. So it was only here in America when he... Uh, I also have some uncles that served, as yeah. well as... So. Yeah. 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 Hoorah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.